Alright, so first company we're gonna talk about is Dot Foods. Yep, that's the first company that I work for. Right out of trucking school. Um, so this is about 10 or 15 miles um, from where I reside. Um, so a little bit about Dot Foods. Man, Dot Foods is pretty much like their own entity. Been around 60 years. I think they have about 12 or 13 distribution centers. Man, they got Dyersburg, Tennessee, um, Bear, Delaware. Um, they're out in Georgia, um, Cambridge, Indiana, but the headquarters is in Mount Sterling, Illinois. You know, because they are 100% automatic and their main uh, choice of tractors are Volvos. Um, they offer local, regional, and over the road. But um, one of the main things that I did like about um, Dot Foods is that they had their own customer base and then they still had outside customers. They had their own customer base because they had their own warehouses, their own employees who load and offload uh, their freight. Um, their biggest division is reefer. So they have a heck of a lot of reefer trailers, but they do have dry van and tanker. And they do use, um, utilize outside carriers. Um, you can be a no touch or touch driver and what I mean by no touch is all you do is pretty much either bump the docks and the warehouse workers unload it or you know depending on where you go um, if like say if you go to a US Foods then you know um, there's a lumper fee um, involved um, what else can I tell you guys about die foods um, and all of their distribution centers man they had uh, their cafeteria set up kind of like a Walmart, you know. They had some pretty decent uh, cold food. So you could just go up there, you know, scan your debit card and, you know, get you some eats. You know what I'm saying? If you had one of their um, distribution centers. Uh, but what else about these guys? Um, they're also out in Maryland um, as well, Arizona. I mean, their customer base is huge. And like I said, and uh, as far as if you were a touch driver, then you pretty much got to your destination and you got paid by how many pieces um, you had on your trailer. So like for a lot of that veteran guys, you know, when they would have, you know, 3,000 plus pieces, I mean, that's a good day. That's a good day for them. Um, when I started, I was a no touch driver. Um, I was pretty much local, regional and over the road um i used to go to a lot of their distribution centers um that was pretty much you know you go from dc to dc so you would consider kind of like a, a a shuttle driver and then um they'll end your week off um locally so since i was based in the midwest i will always make they will always, always make sure um you're routed back to um your home location. Um, that's why it's important to, you know, if you are starting out to know what your, to know what that company offered, to make sure you probably stay near that area if you're trying to get home. Um, I mean, pretty much, you know, Dot Foods, that was, that, that was, that was the first, you know, that, that was my first company. You know, I was green as hell. I ain't know what was going on. Um, that's why I made, did all my banks and booze. Uh, that's why I got all my scratches. That's where I got all my bruises. Uh, that's where I damaged, you know, I kind of, you know, did a little damage, a little slight little damage to, you know, um, the equipment. But that's pretty much where I got um, the bulk of my learning experience um, for, I stayed with them for a year. And then after that, they terminated your girl. But that's a story for another time. But that's a little bit about the first company I worked for, which was Dot Foods. Um, 
keep watching the video and I'm gonna tell y'all about company number two <laughs> look uh, also some honorable mentions about uh, dot foods is that all of their uh, trucks were blue with the white um, DOT um, and another thing that was cool is that they their fuel uh, they had fuel at all their DC. So if you were like a shuttle runner from DC to DC, you never had to go to uh, an outside um, fuel station. So that was one of the things um, that I like. But then, you know, it kind of makes you um, lazy as a driver too, because you don't really get accustomed to being um, at truck stops like that. But you know what I'm saying? I, I, I got my experience being at truck stops and all that stuff too. Um, some of the cons, what were the cons about uh, Dot Foods? Uh, for me, look, I was new, so I didn't know any better. But I will tell you, uh, with refrigerated um, food products, um, you were indoors for <laughs> a long, long time. It's, <laughs> if you guys get the book, you know what I'm saying, I talk about um, being stuck, you know, in the doors. So just for hours and hours, you know, I can't, I cannot make it up. Um, you know, <laughs> U.S. Um, U.S. cold stories. If, if anybody out there you know anything about U.S. cold stories, picking up food products, appointment times, um, you know, having to get up and you know three o'clock in the morning to you know get to an appointment, uh, three a.m. and four a.m. It's just their appointment times were. You know, weird. <laughs> you know, um, that was that's some cons. You know, but um, like I said, I was with them for a year. So, you know, anybody that's out there and you're getting your CDL and you're in the Midwest area, um, Dot Food. Although your girl got terminated, um, Dot Foods is not um, a bad company. Um, what I will tell you is, when I started. Um, I was at 46 cent a mile. So, and then you got paid if you did a drive and hook. You know, you got paid your detention pay, your layover pay. Um, the detention and layover pay was 20 bucks an hour. Um, when I trained with them, I was in training for damn near 12 weeks. And your girl just couldn't get it in the beginning. But look, I'm here almost four years later. So that's why I always preach, you know, um, you know, just stay persistent, you know, and I always practice because <laughs> it was a struggle in the beginning. Now, look, training pay, um, of course, man, no, you're not going to make any money in the beginning. Uh, training pay for me was on a flat rate. It was $750 a week, and that was before taxes. So... For any of you guys out there who think you're gonna make all this money when you go to training, no, you're not. You're gonna make Burger King and McDonald's money, okay? 